Hey, hey, should I accidentally click spacebar when I hit record? Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome yourself back to another part of my Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus series. I'm recording this on it. Okay, no, I'm... Actually, let's look at what our first item is. Nope. <laughs> nope. 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 Not doing that. Um, hello, I'm recording this at 6.34 p.m. In case you were wondering if I was low energy or high energy, I don't know. Regardless. <sighs> okay, look, I'm also not gonna do this one because I want other characters, for God's sake. Plus, we currently don't have a win streak, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, come on, please. Something that isn't Eve or Maggie. <sighs> Whatever, Judas? Sure. Sure. You kind of leave me in a shitty situation because I can't turn, turn down my boy Judas. But fucking whatever. Hey y'all, how you doing? It's a wonderful day today. Wednesday afternoon. Um, I have nothing in particular I really want to talk about. Like, like seriously, this, this is quite the weird start to a part. I know. It just, I just simply hopped out of bed. So I was just fucking watching random YouTube videos as I tend to do. Literally, like, nothing- nothing consistent, just random fucking YouTube videos, just because why not? Um, and I was like, you know what, fucking, let me go play some Isaac. I had just finished watching fucking... What did I just finish watching? I don't even know, man. I think I was watching some shit from The Company Man. You guys know who that is? Oh, okay. This is an item. <laughs> this is a fucking item. I'm not sure how this is going to benefit us, if at all, but okay. Anyway, yeah. I don't really consistently watch many YouTubers. Um, but that does also make me wonder, you know, to, to, to you guys watching this video, what are some YouTubers you watch consistently? Curious to see. Very curious to see. Because, uh, you know, it, it surprises me just typically, one, how many people a lot of... Or how many YouTubers a lot of people tend to frequently watch. And two, just how diverse it tends to be as well. Um... Ooh, God. <laughs> I need to be careful. Um... For me, I'm trying to think, like, what the hell do I really watch? Um... The large majority of what I watch, I guess, can be some... Can be summed up with, uh... Fucking... Super Mega, Game Grumps, Oni Plays, Northern Lion... Um, 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 um Kanjin. Who else? I'm trying to think. I feel like I'm forgetting someone. Oh, Chuck Conroy, of course. Aside from that, there's not much else that I watch consistently. There's no reason for me not watching much stuff consistently either. I just don't. If I'm not watching, if I'm not watching random sh or if I'm not watching like those sets of YouTubers, I'm just watching random shit. Really, that's how it tends to go for me. I don't know about y'all. But, that- that's just how it is for me. Oh, God. Oh, come on! Fucking, the one day I do actually start doing good against this fucker, you know, he just starts playing real aggressive, like, fuck you. At least we got that. And some bombs as well. What an interesting first floor. I'm not sure I'd consider it a bad one, but it's certainly an okay one. Fucking... Oh, man. At least we can see perfectly now. That's great. Um, as I was saying, you know, it's- I'm just very curious to see who the hell you guys watch. Uh... You know, aside from me, of course. Not- not to- not to sound like a snarky fuck. Um... Cause that- that- it's, it's a little obvious that the people... That watch and comment consistently are consistent viewers, but you- you get the point. Um... But I don't know, there's also... It also always surprises me just how many popular YouTubers there are out there. Like, I swear, every other week, I'm discovering some fucking new YouTuber with, like, a million subscribers that I've never heard of in my life. It's so weird. I'm not sure I'd say it's cool, because if I'm being completely honest, a lot of these really big YouTubers are problematic dickheads, but... You know, what are, what, what are you gonna do? Fucking nothing, that's what you're gonna do. For example, our wonderful buddy... You know, the... the Pauls. Lo the Logan Paul and the Jake Paul. I'm not gonna make any jokes about that because, you know, that whole situation is quite a serious one. Um, and as a YouTuber and just general person who doesn't really find edgy humor too funny, um, it's pretty shit- it's a pretty shitty situation overall. Like, 
think of it like this. Okay. I'm kind of glad that I segued into that. Because we can discuss YouTube being fucking weird about shit. Um, if I'm being quite honest, I don't trust YouTube one bit. Um, 2017 was straight garbage for YouTube, admittedly. And I'm not sure how much I even put my trust into YouTube anymore. If any. Because there's just so much wrong with them. Um, but with this whole Logan Paul situation, you know, him finding a fucking dead body and all that shit. It's, it's pretty fucked, for one, that he did that. Two, what I consider more fucked is that people are saying... Oh, you know, it's not that bad. People are just blown it. Hold up, let let my FPS just settle for a second. That's weird. What I find more fucks is the fact that people are defending it. Now, I've seen some people say, okay, what the fuck is going on with my FPS? Do I have something open? Hold up, I feel like I have something open. No, I don't. Okay. It's just being really fucking weird. Jesus Christ, I apologize for this lag. Should not, it should not be lagging this much. This is really fucking bizarre. Hold up, how about we... Shit, I don't know. I'll beat Monstro real quick and then fucking exit run and go back into the run. Maybe that's- maybe I just need to do that. As I was saying though, I don't know, we're back to normal. As I was saying, um, what I find really fucked though more- more so is the fact that people are defending it by saying things like, you know, the overall message wasn't that bad. But it's like, the overall message is so forced and bullshit and stupid, it's like, how can you defend that, you know? Ugh, I don't know, man. It's like, I personally think this is not something anyone should defend, but people are still gonna do it. Why? Because... That's just fucking how things are, really. Um... But the, the main reason I don't trust YouTube is because, one, they took quite a while to respond to all of this shit. Two, their response was quite concerning in terms of phrasing. Basically, it sounded like they were going to... Just do some wild shit. I forget their exact... Their exact words. But it was something along the lines of... It was something along the lines of them saying something... Uh... Ah, fuck. It was something... Like... They're basically going to do everything in their power to ensure a video like this does not circulate... Ever again. And that phrasing is just so fucking concerning. It's just like YouTube. Are you going to fuck everyone over again? Because it's like, hey, there's a reason why a lot of people really don't like YouTube anymore because it's be because they've just been complete fucking stupid idiots for a while now. Like, can y'all stop fucking doing dumb shit like this? Like, seriously, man. There's a reason why I've grown to really dislike YouTube at this point. Not because of... Now keep in mind, when I say that, I don't mean me doing YouTube. That There's a big, big, big difference there. When I say I dislike YouTube now, I mean YouTube the platform. Because YouTube the platform clearly does not give a shit about its people. Some may argue, oh it does because this and that, but it's like, hey man, it's, it's cool that they've probably done like a couple good things, but like, do you remember like the, oh I don't know, Lord knows how many other shitty sh stuff they've done so far? You know, the various algorithm changes. Let's see, the time they fucked over animators from YouTube. Let's see, um, what else, what else? I'm trying- oh, good job, me. Uh, what else? There's just so much shit. Now keep in mind. Some of you might be like, oh, it's not that bad. Oh, it's not- just- just get over it, it's not that bad. But you gotta remember. One. I've been making YouTube videos... ...since 2009. Like, no offense. No, no offense. I'd like to believe I know what I'm talking about. With my literal years of experience. And multiple years solely dedicated... Or rather, a couple of years now solely dedicated to, you know, uploading very consistently. I'd like to at least know that I... Or, I'd like to at least believe that I have at least an ounce of knowledge. More than most, uh, common viewers. When it comes to these discussions. Because, you know, I've worked on you- I've worked, uh, with YouTube for literal years. I've, you know, done a lot more shit than, you know, the, the common viewer because, you know, I've dedicated quite a lot of time, quite a lot of effort to making videos. To being on this platform. So when some random fucking person who just casually watches videos Tries and act as if, you know, 
they're a bit more on the educated side on this than me. It's a little insulting. Quite insulting, actually. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not trying to act like, you know... Like, I, I do joke around... ...and... ...act like a cocky shit from, from time to time. But that's just an act. It is in no way serious. But... You know, I fucking I think it was a recent Fruit Club episode. I was like, <laughs> I'm right. I've always been right. There's never been a time in my life where I've been wrong. Now, that's just a joke. Just straight up. And I don't want you guys to think, you know, the way I'm talking right now is that same attitude because it's not. It's not at all. I'm just saying, it's like, hey man, who do you think's going to have more of an actual good say in a conversation uh, about YouTube? A casual viewer or a youtuber who's been involved for literal years like you know now if if uh, if some other fucking youtuber is like you know what this guy is wrong then you know what that's that's fine I will gladly respect that I'm not sure I'll agree god damn that damage is fucking stupid I'm not sure I'll agree by any means but you know I'll at least be like, you know what? Okay. That's fine. Whatever. I'm gonna be very careful here. Because this is a danger zone right now. Jesus Christ. Oh, there's more. Hold up. I'm gonna pause my discussion for a split second. Because Jesus fucking Christ. This is not... This is very dangerous right now. Wow! You're kidding me. You're fucking kidding me. I do not... I'm not, I'm not good at this game. I don't know if you guys have realized this. I'm not good at this game, man. Anyways, I was saying. So, overall, um, YouTube's gone quite down the drain. It's fucking garbage, to say the least. Um, fucking, it's just such a shitty platform at this point. There's so much wrong with it. There's so much that needs to be fixed. Wow, really? There's so much that just needs to be changed, especially. I didn't realize it couldn't run. Well, guess what, folks? We're gonna try again. Anyway. As I was saying, it's just, I, it makes me wonder how much longer is YouTube going to be around? Because, oh man, YouTube just keeps fucking up. It's like, how, how much more can YouTube fuck up before someone finally puts their foot down and says, you know what, YouTube, this is fucking stupid and we're not going to stand by this. Because the issue is, this is a lot of people's livings. This is a lot of people's jobs. They kind of can't do that, because it is exactly that. And the issue is, as well, is, you know, YouTube is as big as it is, so it's not like some random fucking company can just casually go and buy it. It has to be a really, really big name, and they have to spend a lot of money on it. Even then, Lord knows if whatever company that may ever buy YouTube ends up being better. It's just, oh man. YouTube is a fucking shitstorm, man. I can, without a doubt, say that YouTube has 100% gone down the drain. Especially compared to like 2009. Now, I don't mean to be a fucking YouTube nostalgia freak or anything, but like, damn. <laughs> like, first off, things were a lot more different back then, and I suppose that also comes with the introduction of some sort of form of making money off of, um, a website like this, you know? I suppose that can play a big role, but, I don't know, man. It's, it's really difficult to pinpoint. Um, that also makes me wonder. I, I guess this is another, another question for y'all. How long have y'all been involved with YouTube? Whether, whether you are yourself a content creator, or just merely a viewer, how long have you been involved? Because like I said, I've been involved since uh, 2009. And while I did watch videos at first, I did eventually fucking start making videos. I believe it was in early 2010. I was... Let's see, fucking... So I'm 19 right now. I think I was either... 10 or 11. I think I was 10. Yeah, yeah, I was 10. So, you know, it's a pretty fair amount of time. I've seen YouTube have its fucking glory days. I've seen YouTube, <laughs> especially recently, have its just worst days. 
So, you know, I'm hoping- I'm hoping fucking Susan... Whatever the fuck her name is, you know, the current CEO of YouTube, just steps her game up and stops being a fucking idiot. But, only time will tell. Enough YouTube talk, folks. Let's get back to Binding of Isaac. I will 100% admit, that was a horrible play I did earlier, and I fucked myself over. No one's to blame but myself, admittedly, but we just kinda gotta deal with it. There is, of course, the chance that this run will end just as easily, and just be as horrible, but... Fucking... Just gotta wait and see, I guess. Gotta be patient, folks. After this arcade, you know what? I'll go- I'll go into full rush mode and just fucking... Just- just bolt for the finish line. Bummel want coin. Fuck you. Um... Cause I personally- I- I tend to not really just rush to the end, so why not? Let, let's do that for once, okay? Companionship, sure, why not? Now I probably should have waited, to be honest. Little- little, uh, unnecessary for this room. Item room and I have a key, great. Okay. Fuck no. What the fuck is that? Huh? What the hell is this? This is weird as hell. I've got a beam and it does no damage, but like, huh? This is bizarre. Oh fuck. I just wanted to clear out that space, admittedly. Do we have like really fast shot speed? This is weird. This is really weird. It seems no matter how I shoot it, it's going to go in the four directions. I'm not sure how good and or bad that may be, but it's okay at the very least. Oh, fuck. <laughs> this is not a room I want to be in! <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> fucking, is this even worth it? I don't know, but let's just fucking get out of here. Go, go, go! Oh, my God. I kind of wish the little tractor beam did even the slightest bit of damage, but I think that that'd probably be really overkill. It'd be like tears plus technology, which is would be ridiculous, but whatever. A boy can dream. I'm not a boy, but whatever. <laughs> Pin, you fucking fuck. We're gonna kill you. Woo, shit. Watch out there. Can't be fucking up now. Oh! A deal. What you got for us, big boy? Um. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. So we're gonna take that. And then. Let's take that. Hey, 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 hey! That's how we fucking do it. There we go. All right. Time to time to put my A game on. No fucking up from here. Just gotta fucking rush it. Ooh, that damage out. That damage in tier output is beautiful. If we could even, if we could get a little bit more damage, then we are going to be practically invincible. Oh, Christ, these, these guys are fast, but we're faster! Hey, okay. Let's find that item room, find that boss, and just get the hell out of here. I'm not going after boss rush, keep in mind. I just don't want this episode to drag on way too long, you know? I'm sure not everybody wants to see an extremely long Binding of Isaac part. Maybe some people do. But, uh, I'm also trying to finish this part before the Overwatch League, uh, season starts. Then again, I do have a little bit of time before it starts because they're probably gonna have an opening ceremony, introductions, and so on, but still. Speaking of Overwatch League, um, I'm not sure how many of you guys watch it, but regardless, uh, if you do, if you do watch it, who are you rooting for? I'm personally not rooting for anybody just yet, I want to see how things play out for like a, a couple matches and so on, and then see who I truthfully want to root for. Um, but chances are I'm probably gonna end up rooting for like, Boston or New York because those are closest to me, and it feels right supporting, you know, a team from an area somewhat close to me. Um, but... Fucking, if you don't watch Overwatch, what are your thoughts on seeing, you know, all the Overwatch League, um, fucking ads and stuff? Because I know they've been... Pretty much everywhere now. Ah, oh, shit, we can't get that. I didn't think that through now, did I? Um... 
But it's so weird. It's so fucking weird to see how far Overwatch has come. Then again, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not too surprised that Overwatch has come as far as it's come, considering the fact that it's a Blizzard game. It was probably expected to get so somewhere near that far at some point. Hey, wait a minute! That is kind of the exact fucking item that we needed at that point. Fucking dude, that is great. So saying, um, it is weird though. I will admit, 2020. Ho 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 ho. Ooh. Ooh ooh ooh. Sadly, we're not shooting out the 2020 shots we would normally, but our tear fire rate right now is insane. I'm gonna take a step in the shop. It's a little bit of a deviation, but fucking whatever. Um, sure. Not the best, but it might be helpful. You never know. Okay. Anyway, boss time. No time to waste. I've already wasted enough time on this floor, admittedly. More than I wanted to, but... And we'll live. This is faster than I typically go. Let's be careful here. Ah, good job, me. Don't be fucking up like this. These are terrible mistakes. Pop up one more time. Perfect. Damage and range up. Oh, man. Game, you are just making this ridiculous at this point. I just need to not play like an idiot, and we are going to have an amazing run here. But if I play like an idiot, we're going to have the worst run imaginable on our hands. Or rather, the, the worst, the worst, like, slip-up on my part. There's a lot of room for error, I... There's a lot of room for error, I do suppose, but fucking... As long as I don't play like a complete and utter idiot, we'll at least probably make it decently far in this run. Oh, that's just cruel. Item room has been located, that's great. What's not great is these fuckers. Not kind of enemies I want to be facing right now, admittedly. Okay. I could have taken a lot more damage there, but I'm glad that I didn't. What I need right now, what I- like, like, I need this pretty urgently, is a fucking... either more spare hearts, or just red hearts. Now, I suppose the good thing is, if I do end up dying, I'll have one red hearts, and that's fine. But that's not gonna be fine when we finally get to, you know, the, the womb and stuff. That is, that's going to be really bad for there. So if I could, um, get more health by the time I get there, that'd be great. Because right now we have such a consistent output of damage and tears. It'd be such a shame. That went to waste. One spare heart, though, is okay. I'm not gonna act like it's game-changing, but it's certainly pretty darn good. Um, shit. This is bad. We don't have a bomb. Fuck. All right, whatever. I'll just I'll just fight the boss. Ah, oh, this is Hmm. Not that bad, but annoying. Hey, oh buddy, stop that. <laughs> stop that. Where you at? Fuck sake. There you go. Tears and shot speed. Oh. That's beautiful. Krampus? Not Krampus. Okay. I always forget what that item is, but as far as I remember, I don't believe it's a good one, so I'm fucking out of here. Okay. What time is it currently? 6.57. Alright. Alright, boys, we gotta hurry this on up. Overwatch League starts soon. And I wanna get a win as fast as possible. Or a loss as fast as possible. Either or are, are very, very manageable here. The great thing is I also have these poison tiers. So, it's like, regardless, I'm doing damage to them, which is great, you know? Ooh, shit! <laughs> I kind of forgot about- I always forget about those guys for a second. And I remember, hey, yeah, those guys are really dangerous. Like, I gotta be more careful with those guys. Uh, let's see what we got in here. Mmm... Nothing great. Ooh, I see that tinted rock, though. I just need a bomb, for God's sake. The game refuses to give me bombs right now, which is annoying as hell. But fucking just kind of got to do with it, really. Hey, what you got for us? Not too great. Tears up. Oh, my God. Trail of tears, dude. 
We're fucking decked out on tears and damage right now. We're going to obliterate everything in our path. Although the only thing that sucks is it's not like we can, like, fly or something. A single bomb! Alright, alright, quick run. Run on over to that damn tinted rock right now. I swear to god, if you give me, like, keys and a bomb or something, I'm gonna be pissed. You fucking dick. Well, I already got my item room, so worth it. Ah, that was not worth it. We didn't lose anything, I guess, but that's just annoying as hell. How I did all that for literally nothing, basically, but fucking... You win some, you lose some, I guess. Oh, no. It's not a fun room, but okay. Boss time. Not too bad a boss, more so gonna be annoying than anything. <laughs> Relax. You fucking mask, you. Now the great thing is we can just shove him around with all our fucking tears. He can't even get near us. Look at that. Magic mush as well. Oh, that is perfect. That is perfect because now we have that red health. Now we have more damage. Now we have everything. Things are going fucking amazingly. I will be the first to say that. <laughs> I mean, things were already going pretty damn well, but like now we're just really overpowered. Um, dare I? Why not? I have a couple cents, I suppose it's worth it. What do you want to do today? Get a ba baby pet, it will cheer you up, you're worshipping the sun god, trust good people. That's not what I want, but okay. I thought I almost got myself stuck there for a moment. I was going to be very angry. But luckily that was not the case. What you got for us, game? A pill. Tears up. Wow. <laughs> this is just ridiculous at this point. This is just absolutely ridiculous at this point. Oh my god. We have such a consistent output of damage and tears right now that we could just wipe the floor with anything. Alright, what's this? Power pill. Power pill? Ah, fucking. It's a little lame. Because, like, ugh, it would have been so much better at a different time, but whatever. I'd say the main thing I need right now are more keys and bombs. I'm surprisingly very low on both of those. The key is always great, but bombs are pretty useful as well. So if you could provide me with that game, that'd be great. Just line up your shots great and we'll be fine. What are we missing? Oh, didn't even see the gish. Bombs, maybe? A spare heart. Not exactly what I wanted, but still pretty darn good. I feel like we're not going to encounter the item room over here, which is pretty darn annoying, but, uh, and we'll live. We also have quite a fair bit of time. Oh shit, before boss rush is over, so... Yeah, we're, we're, we're completely fine. I don't even want to go for boss rush, though, so... I'm even completely better. Better off just... Fucking doing whatever. But then again, like I said, I'm in a little bit of a rush, which I'm typically am not... During these recordings, so it's a, it's a little different. So we'll find that item room. <laughs> Always forgot about that. So we'll find that item room real quick, and just fucking... I don't know, just run on over to the boss then. Past that, there's not much else I really need to do. I already checked out the shop and sadly did not have anything uh, of interest. Item room here? Nope. Okay. Come on now. Where's that item room game? Don't hold back. Where the hell is it? Those bombs are nice, but not what I'm looking for. This room is kind of stupid, but not what I'm looking for. Come on, game. Don't be this way. It's probably down here, isn't it? Wait, what? Oh. Oh, dear. For a second there, I thought that was the end of the floor. I was confused as hell, because I didn't see the bottom part. Key for my troubles. Cool. Still no item room? I mean, we got an arcade, which is great, but like... Fucking hell, man. How the hell have we not encountered a fucking item room by now? Alright, I'm gonna use that, blow that up. Hearts, cool, I'll use that. Come on. No blood bag? Alright, wait, 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 ah. Right as they talk about, you know, wanting to go as fast as possible. Fucking arcade. So I'm surprised. Per throw, um... I forget the exact effects of it. I believe it's the same as a D6. So if we get a, like, a bad fucking item here, then I'll just use it. 
Can also do this. Hey, hee hee. That's good. That's good. Um, sure. Is this even fair at this point? Like, legit, is this- is this really even fair at this point? Spirit Heart, I will not get- get that just yet. Wow! We just got two Spirit Hearts for that. What? What is happening? Fucking, for some reason I thought I was gonna run into spikes there. Okay. Boss time, I need to stop fucking stalling this. Right as I say that, of course, you know, I'm gonna just make a quick derail over here. Anything? Fuck you. The bomb machine's fucking worthless. I would blow it up, but I might need this bomb later. I don't know. I really don't know. Oh, barely dodged that. God damn, do I hate these spikes. Whatever though. Okay. Boss time. I, of course, don't have my charge for the Book of Belial, but I think I'll be fine, admittedly. Ah, fuck. Good job, me. Always forget that good old red mom. This is quite the stompy one. Okay. Perfect. Uh, that's not too great a pickup, admittedly. Come on, where's the hand at? There it is. Alright, let's just get out of here then. We got our health. I'm not getting that. I just kind of wanted to see what they had, but okay. Onward we go. Now for the least fun part. <laughs> Look, man, I will forever stand by the opinion that the, the the womb in general is just the least fun floors of the run because it is 100% what is keeping you from the best parts, which are, in my opinion, fuck it, which are, in my opinion, the cathedral and the chest. Good job, me. Already lost one of the hearts you got. However, I got another one back, so cool. Seriously though, our damage is ridiculous right now. <laughs> like how- oh my god. On top of the poison damage, just the raw damage, the bloody lust damage, like oh man. If I don't win this run, I'm going to be so ashamed of myself. Plus the spare hearts? Dude. Dude. <laughs> I sound legitimately excited, and it's because I 100% am. You know, after after my wonderful failures here and there with Binding of Isaac, having a run that is this overpowered is always a fucking treat. Um, Retrovision, that's just gonna be a bit of an annoyance more than anything. Uh, but I also like having runs like, ah, uh, range down. But I also have love, lo eh. I also love getting runs like these. Because I typically don't get runs like these on camera. I typically get them off camera. Which is what makes them annoying to me. Is the fact that, you know, I typically get this shit when I don't want it. When I want to have a struggled filled run and actually really, really work for my, um, win. You know, the game's always just like, what's that? You wanted every good item in the game? Okay. It's just like, wow, thanks, game. I 100% totally appreciate it. Okay, I was about to say, like, how many fucking hands are there? But, it's always nice having a really, really, really OP run once in a while. Range up, okay, so basically, we already undid the fucking damage done by the range down pill, like, wow. <laughs> this run really does like me, it seems. You're not fucking... You're not making me take damage now, game. Not today. I nearly lost this run earlier, but not anymore. I'm a changed man, and by changed I mean I just got a lot of really good items. That's bullshit, but okay, let's be careful. There are gonna be a lot of tears flowing throughout here. A lot of potential for taking stupid damage, as I tend to. So let me not do that. I think I heard a fucking coin. I just sort of glossed over it. No, it's a self, don't do that. Bombs are key. I'm gonna do that because we're, we're going to need more keys later on. So there's literally no reason to hold back right now. God damn it. We're fine though. Um... I'm excited. Okay. It lives time. Let's see what we got. 
Our damage was already ridiculous, but how ridiculous is it going to be against this boss? Okay, our tears are fucking enormous. And... wow. Just fucking wow. That's insane. I will take Goat Head because I quite like it. What else we got? Book of Elio Charge and a Key. Cool. Okay. Well, goddamn, we sh we went through there quick. We went through there real quick. We we only just hit 20 minutes as well for this run. Damn. Okay. Woof. Nearly got a little too close there. What you got for us? Keys, keys, keys. That's good. That's really good, actually. That is exactly what I want. And a health upgrade. That is exactly what I want. Dude, we cannot just... We're, Oh my god. I'm so fucking flabbergasted. I'm so bewildered by the- <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just so fucking taken aback by all this good luck, all this good damage. Sure I'm, till, sure I'm still doing stupid stuff here and there, but I'm not playing too bad as well. I did make like a couple bad mistakes, but hey. It's, all, it's only been up since the start, really. I 100% thought this run was just kind of gonna... Just go downhill very quickly, but... I mean, it nearly did. It, it really nearly did. And I thought that was just gonna be the end of it. I thought we were just gonna end up dying super quickly. Everything was just gonna be terrible and just going to be really unfun. Especially after, you know, the, the early loss, but... Shit, man. You guys technically are getting two runs for the price of one, even though one is a shitty lost run. And I don't mean lost as in the character, I mean lost as in I fucked up. But at least you're getting one nice super, super fucking OP run to make up for it. Especially one that's a lot faster than my usual pace. Because I tend to beat these runs in like 40, or like 35 to 40 minutes. And damn, this is just, is insane for me. The Fool, maybe. Two of Hearts, nah. Actually, Two of Hearts may be good. I say it may be good because you never know. It might come in handy later. Good job, me. I will say this whole beam shit is annoying now because really, what can I do? Like, I can't do like diagonal shots. That's the one thing that really sucks about this. But I mean... We were doing so much damage, it really didn't matter. Okay. Chest time, let's see what we get right off the bat. I'm praying for the best stuff we got. Curse of the Maze, that's going to be annoying, but not bad. Alright, so basically what the game's telling me is we're going to have endless spare hearts. Prayer card, that's just unfair at this point. Mom's contact, why not? Um, I'm gonna keep the prayer card until I get another charge and then switch it out. Alright. <laughs> I think we've just reached the point where nothing can stop us. I'd still say our health is a little on the- good job. I'd still say our health is a little on the iffy side, but we're doing so much damage, I really don't know if it matters anymore. <laughs> the hell am I missing? Oh, I didn't even know there's this guy over here. Is that it? I guess so. Oh, well. <laughs> Back to the Book of Belial I go, then. Ah, shit. Curse of the Maze, you fucking asshole. Here I was thinking, haha, we're gonna get back so easily. But of course, no. Curse of the Maze is... It's quite the weird one. It's also, surprisingly, at this point, it's still quite buggy. I've noticed it has so many issues here and there. But, it's just... It's still buggy. Maybe it's intentionally buggy. I, I don't know. It's weird. Regardless, um... I think this run is as good as one. Nice little rhyme. I, I, I know, I know. I'm quite the fucking poet. But, damn. Jeez, man. This is just insane at this point. <laughs> like, I'm just saying this right now. If I lose this run at this point, you guys can make fun of me however much you want until the end of fucking time. Because with this much power, with this much anything, there's no reason I should be losing a run. 
All right, but it would appear as though the boss is on over the really. It would appear as though the boss is on over this way, so let's fucking go. Ah, eh, yeah, yeah, fucking little horn. Gonna shoot out his shit that gets just destroyed in an instant fucking moment. Oh, oh you're moving again, Loki. You fucking dick. What you got for us? Sack of pennies. It's gonna be useful for our little bum friend here, but then again, our bum friend is. I've not really gave him anything this whole run, so I'm kind of fine. Oh, well, now we know where the boss room is. Let's, uh... Wait a minute, I didn't even realize we skipped rooms. Oh, dear. Let's get that super secret room and secret room here in a second. Ooh, jeez. Watch out. Piercing shots, really? <laughs> this is just ridiculous at this point. I feel bad now. I feel really bad now. Like, nothing can stop me. Literally nothing can stop me. Also, I will admit, now I do kind of wish I was giving our little bum pal here uh, pennies this whole time. Because he seems to be... He seems to be quite the strange but welcome familiar. Regardless. We're killing everything. We don't really need his help. Not to be rude. Not to be rude. Don't take it that way, man. But not to be rude. Okay, yeah. Oh, good job, me. Just casually run into an enemy. Then again, it, it doesn't really fucking matter. <laughs> Literally just got the health back already. Um, this is bullshit, but... Boss is right around the corner. Come on, just take this guy down real quick so we can focus on this other fuck. Oh, where are you? There you are. Alright, you guys ready to probably see my fastest time of taking this fucker down? Alright, let's see how this goes. What's great is now with piercing shots, we're also just gonna blow through his fucking flies. I'm just gonna stand here, man. We're doing so much damage, I don't think I need to give the slightest of a shit. Look at that. Look at that. Boom. Boom. A regular timed part, but two runs. One, of course, you know, that ended, like, in ten minutes, but the other! That was so much better. With that, we are luckily on a win streak once again. Let's hope I can continue that next time. But alright, folks, if you have enjoyed this very strange part of my Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus series, of course, be sure to drop a like as well as a comment. Be sure to subscribe if you're really feeling it. And I shall see you guys next time. Bye bye <laughs>